we are on another Connecticut hike. But we're not in Connecticut. We're actually in oh. Rye, New York. <laughs> Oops. You forgot. This is in Rye, New York, and we're at the Marshlands Conservancy. <laughs> That's a weird word. <laughs> we grabbed the map this time because if you know what happened sketchy. last time, uh, we got nervous. <laughs> so we started way over here and followed this this way, right? No. Oh, this, oh, this, this <laughs> way. But mm -hmm. turns out this is actually a super easy loop and I don't think you can get lost. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, this place is really cool though so far. It's a saltwater marsh preserve. So there's some pretty interesting terrain that I have seen before because I used to go out into the wilderness with my dad and brother. Right. But you were not familiar with necessarily getting up close. I've seen marshland. Oh yeah? Yeah, I've even been to a bog. Oh, Rural cool. PA, what up? <laughs> <laughs> Next time we'll hit up a bog, but this time we're checking out that saltwater marsh. It's actually teeming with wildlife. I was almost attacked by a squirrel, which was really it cool. Really was. I it's know. Not being I had to jump into the air. <laughs> the squirrel got really. I mean, it oh, was like it was so funny. It came right at me. It really came right at you. It's but okay. We've also already seen multiple birds, mm -hmm. Turkey. turkeys, literally a foot away from us mm -hmm. and deer that are not skittish which is very odd mm -hmm. but they're really beautiful it's not a typical hike that you see where i'm from yeah so it's, it's pretty interesting it's for been sure. nice so far yeah. i think we can go out more into the marshland so we're gonna show you what that looks like yeah, for sure go check it out one zero of me putting the map away <laughs> we found a whole bed of oysters that are real alive oysters real alive ones and they're all actually buried underground which is crazy and i, I know. don't know the science of we're gonna have to look that up i'm wondering <laughs> if that's what they do i don't know mm -hmm. but this place is really awesome it is absolutely like as advertised we mentioned like teeming with wildlife it remains so yeah as you go out onto the marsh and into the salt watery part of the the walk which is not too far you, you see all here. kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, you get here and there's this coast and right in front of us is what's called Rye Point, which is Rye Point, New York. You have all these boats in the cutest little coastal town. I'm like, I want to go over there too. <laughs> that looks nice. Yep, and you can see mountains across the, the sound in the distance, which is just so cool. And all kinds of like rare birds. So we've seen like Eastern Goldfinch. Eric seen, loves like, bird I'm an old man bird watcher now. And it's just like a problem. And I was like geeking out. Like some guy with binoculars was like, oh, there's three of them over there. I was like, where are you? Yeah, talking to this 70 year old man with binoculars. And they have the best time geeking out over where the birds are. <laughs> so. So sweet. <laughs> it's nice. You have an like old birds. soul. Yeah, it's true. Bird watching is fun. I'll give it to you. It's For sure. Fun. Yeah, it's it's been such a really um like it's right off of the the main highway right right off of 95 you just take a turn down a weird dirt road all of a sudden and boom you're in the salt <laughs> marsh. So it's really easy to get to and a, and a nice like pretty pretty leisurely small walk to get to it some is. pretty incredible views and yeah. some unique uh terrain. Bring your hiking shoes though, because mm -hmm. although it's an easy walk, it does get muddy and marshy super quick. And I can imagine if it had just rained or something, that would be even worse. But I almost wore my sneakers, then they would have been destroyed. <laughs> yeah, we have our. I have my white sneaks in the in the car. I'm so glad. Ooh, I that would have been Thought bad. to bring the hiking boots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come out here and, and get a walking. <laughs> and showered and ready for bed and it is six, six o'clock <laughs> yeah <laughs> not nearly late enough for bed but it was a fun adventurous day something about being outside just like i'm wiped man mm -hmm. I'm takes so a lot tired. out of you it does so that's salt air the salt air mm -hmm. <laughs> and connecticut traffic <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. But we're here mm -hmm. back in our Airbnb. We got some more takeout from Organica, which there's actually three locations in this area in Connecticut. And a friend of ours on Instagram 
recommended that we try it out. I'm super excited for it. Mm -hmm. It's I, vegan. Yeah, I think it's all vegan, mm -hmm. right? It's vegan, and we were craving something green, and if it's vegan it, and pizza, it's still green, right? It still counts as a vegetable, I think. I, I needed vegetables. <laughs> I was like, I got the green juice. I need something a little lighter on the stomach, but we did obviously get pizza, so. Got it. I mean, balance, right? <laughs> Will you eat something already? I literally cannot wait to eat something right now. I've worked quite the appetite from all that walking around outside. And I need pizza. This is so That's cranky. The only thing I need to do you about better that. put this in the video because you're being so cranky right no, now. No, I'm actually, this is where I'm going to start the video. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I am going to start with the pizza though. I got to have it. Yeah. We have ourselves a mushroom pizza. Yeah. With, I believe, some onions on it. And it looks really, really good. There's plenty of slices for the both of us. I'll start with a little one right here. There's definitely a vegan cheese on there as well. The caramelized onions are very sweet, and I think it's portobello mushroom. And mushrooms and onions is always such a, like a sweet and savory combo. It's really, really good. And it's garlicky as hell, so. <laughs> Yay! Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, <laughs> gonna be perfect for kissing. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good. So, first up, I got the kale dip cold pressed juice and this is awesome i think it's just kale spinach and celery we ordered in the car very hungry and totally forgot what we ordered so hopefully <laughs> we're not describing these two inaccurately but it's mostly it's celery forward which is awesome because we used to press our own celery juice and this makes me want to bring the juicer out when we get home to press it again that tastes very 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 fresh so fresh I would not call it traditionally tasty. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is really like raw juice flavored. Yeah. But like I, have to, I took a sip and my body, like I needed more. Like my yeah. body was like, yes. <laughs> yes, that. That's what you've been we denying me all this time. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, no, it's it's good and it's really good for you, it seems. It is. At, at least yeah. my body's telling me it so. It is, there's no added <laughs> sugar or anything. So I mm -hmm. love a fresh pressed juice. And then while we're with it, I also got a salad. So this salad has um, it's some different types of spinach red and white quinoa i believe there's parsnips there was a whole lot loaded in here it smells really really good i was just craving a salad i know this might be boring for someone to taste test oh there's also sweet potato in it <laughs> i'm remembering now some avocado i mean guys we've been eating really really bad so <laughs> this is needed that dressing is really good exactly what i needed super excited to dig into this and have this. The vinaigrette is really light, but super tasty. Like a really strong flavor, but it doesn't taste oil-based or anything. So it's not creamy, which I like. Perfect, healthy, yummy salad. Very happy with this. For my main course, besides pizza, my, <laughs> my full rights to the half of the pizza that we received. Yeah, I'm gonna eat pizza too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a full, um, I got a melt. Um, that has Beyond Beef, and I added avocado, and there's a type of vegan provolone on sourdough bread. So, I just, it was probably the most unique of the sandwiches that they had on the menu, and I just wanted to kind of take a reach and see what I was able to, if I was able to strike some gold on the Gold Coast. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Mm hmm it's tough to know where to start sometimes with a sandwich, you know? It is. Because, like, that kind of sets the tone for the whole thing. <laughs> Mmm. That bread is the star of the show. I love sourdough bread, so I got it. It's really, really good. I heard the crunch from mm -hmm. here. That seemed good. It's really, really good. We have one last thing to try that we both got, and now mm -hmm. I sound like I'm full of crap with my eating healthy and getting a juice because I am is, sharing half of This is my fault. It was my fault. And <laughs> we are doing some chocolate mousse It's both pudding. of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. With an avocado Ooh. base. Everything it here is 100% Wait, can vegan. I read these ingredients? Yeah. Because I was actually quite impressed by this. Avocado, cocoa powder, vanilla extract, maple syrup, and oat milk. Mm -hmm. So not only vegan, but really simple and clean. Not a lot of processed foods in here and just the, uh, the oat milk probably, but that's awesome. Are we taking a bite? Right, yeah, I'm, I'm taking gonna... a bite too. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! So rich. Oh my god, that chocolate hits you mm -hmm. really heavy. Mm-hmm. Woo, baby, I like that. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
That's awesome. I bet we can make this at home. I would love that. Now we have the recipe. <laughs> it's all right there. Organica. <laughs> this place was described to us as the owner's vegan dream yeah. come true. And I could see exactly why that is. I have to go get to attend to the rest of this. We have to eat the rest of this. <laughs> we're starving. We went on so many hikes. We were out doing so many things. I'm ready. ready this has been, um, it's been an awesome day hanging out in northern, northwestern New York mm -hmm. and the southern part of Connecticut. Yeah. And um, it's a great place to go on a hike and get some super incredible food. I think it's northeastern New York. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's been... <laughs> You get the idea. You get it. We're tired. We're hungry. <laughs> Directions are hard. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye, guys. <laughs>